Hello guys, what is up? This is Skelmus here from Mini Dogs coming back at you again with another Discord.py episode. Today's episode 24 and it's going to be a nice, short, sharp, simple one. Pretty much we're just going to be going over how to change the attributes in a command. That way, you know, you can change commands. Today we're going to be enabling and disabling commands, but it works for most of these attributes here. Now, something to note, there is an update, uh, command.update which does document that it works uh, similar but after testing and discussion with Danny who's the guy that makes this package um, discord.py um, update doesn't actually do what it's meant to do what it's documented to do because that's not how it works internally so you pretty much just ignore that to be honest and you just change the attributes directly you know we're gonna be changing whether or not a commands enabled or disabled which is this one here um, but you could pretty much change whatever you want. You can change the description. You can hide it. You can require positional variables. Pretty much anything that you do in the command decorator, you can change. But for now, we're going to go ahead. We're going to jump in here and let's just make the command. So if we just go at commands dot command name, let's give it a name. Let's call it toggle. And uh, let's give it a description. And let's just go enable or disable a command. Now, I do want to make it so only the owner can run this because, quite frankly, um, the fact that you can enable or disable any command is, you know, probably not best left to the public. And we're going to go async def toggle. We're going to take self, it's going to take cpx, and we're going to just take the rest of the arguments as the command. Now the way to fetch a command is just to go self.bot.get underscore command and then we just give it that command. You could try typing it here but that doesn't really work too well uh, just based off the converter so I'd recommend using this method um, just personally. Now that is a get um, so if the command is none which means we couldn't find it we're just going to go ahead and say you know hey man wait ctx.send I can't find a command with that name. Just to make this look nicer. Bang. And then let's also chuck an elif in there. Elif ctx.command. So ctx.command uh, is what the currently invoked command is. So pretty much what we're doing here is I don't want to be able to enable or disable the command that enables or disables things. I want this toggle command to always be enabled. I, I don't want to disable it, otherwise that kind of defeats the purpose of it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go, oh wait, ctx.send. You cannot disable this command. Otherwise, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're just going to go ahead and flip it. So that's a boolean value, so we can just go command.enabled is equal to not command dot enabled and so because it's a boolean putting not in front of that as you know from your if statements just flips the value so if it's enabled it'll become disabled um, and just like that and then we're just going to use a little ternary operator um, if I can spell my variable correctly it doesn't really matter it's just a variable name but I just want to get it correct and we're just going to go enabled if command dot enabled else disabled it's pretty simple, you know, if the command's enabled, uh, it'll be tripping this. Um, but yeah. And then we're just going to go await. ctx.send. Make that nef string. I have, and then enabled or disabled. That's that ternary there. And then we're just going to go command dot qualified underscore name for you. So let's go ahead and just run our bot. Bam. Bam. Let's go ahead. Let's let's add the bot real quick. Help. Yeah, it looks like it's working to me, you know. Works perfectly fine. And then let's go toggle help. I've disabled help for you, so what happens if we run help? Nothing. Do we dive back in here? Help command is disabled. No, I don't have an error handler for this. But something that you'd want to do is just in your errors.py or your on command error handler, you're going to go if is instance 
uh, error discord.xt.commands.errors.disabled command and then you can just go hey look man this command is disabled um, please try again another time but I'm not here to showcase that because we've already done a video on error handlers so you should just be able to look at that video look back and then go cool this is what I need to do anyway let's go ahead and let's just re-enable help and show that it works that works quite well and then we're just going to go help rr because i want to show you that it works on sub commands as well so if i go toggle rr and then we go rr it doesn't work uh, so if we go damn that took a while so it works now and then if we go toggle rr toggle so now look at that bam Toggle uh, command is disabled. <laughs> and there's George. Uh, toggle command is disabled. And, but the other commands still work. So RR add. Although it does require uh, an emoji and a roll. Uh, but I don't have that set up because we don't have an error handle on the spot at the moment. But that's all right. So we can just go ahead and go toggle. RR toggle. And that's re-enabled for us week that's pretty much all there is for this episode guys um i'll chuck this documentation link in the description otherwise you know it's just uh up here at the top and you can go look at the attributes you can change and that should hopefully help you guys out in enabling disabling commands you know updating commands dynamically and all of that jazz anyway guys i hope you enjoyed and until next time peace out